Welcome to this Amira webcast. This will show you how Amira's visualization and analysis tools can extract information from separate 3D channels and combine the results into one coherent analysis. Amira for Cell Biology helps researchers perform many other tasks and analyses. Check our web pages on amira.com for more information. Here we have a three channel 3D fluorescent image showing a section of murine cochlea. Our goal is to analyze the morphology of the organ of corti, which includes inner and outer hair cells lining a basilar membrane. To start, we will separate each of these channels into their own 3D volumes. We will use the green channel to segment the basilar membrane. Then we will use the blue and red channels to segment the inner and outer hair cells respectively. The basilar membrane is implied by a gap between the two lines of hair cells in the green channel. Since it's difficult to directly threshold this gap by itself, we will begin by filtering the image to accentuate all gaps. We can then highlight the edges of the gap with an automatic threshold. Then we can use a watershed algorithm to grow these edges together until they meet in the middle of the gap. Only the middle of the largest gap represents the membrane, so we need to mask everything outside the region of interest, then filter out all other watershed lines. In the end, we have a segmented representation of the basilar membrane, which in 3D looks like a wall separating the inner and outer hair cells. Since this workflow is not trivial, we can save it as a template so it can be applied to future datasets with a single click. Next, we can use the blue channel to segment the inner hair cells. The large inner hair cells are simple enough to segment with a threshold. There is some background signal, however, so we must use a thresholding tool that automatically determines a local threshold for each cell. We can clean up any over-segmentation using a mask generated from the maximum intensity projection of this channel. Some morphological cleaning helps smooth the segmented cells, and watershed separation helps split erroneously connected cells. Each cell can be given its own identity, then over a hundred predefined measurements can be calculated for each cell to define its morphology, geometry, or the statistics regarding its fluorescent expression. Finally, we have completed segmentation of the inner hair cells using the blue channel. Next, we can use the red channel to segment the outer hair cells. The smaller, densely packed outer hair cells are more difficult to segment using a threshold-based algorithm. In this case, we can use a correlation algorithm instead. Each cell can be modeled with a short template cylinder with a given outer and inner radius. This cylinder is iterated over the volume, returning a high grayscale value where an object of similar geometry is found in the volume. The resulting image may look strange compared to the original data, but it can be used as a mechanism to easily find the center of each outer hair cell. After some more morphological cleaning, we construct a high quality segmentation where each outer hair cell is identified. The same measurements can then be applied to each individual outer hair cell that were applied to the inner hair cells. The result is a complete segmentation of all outer hair cells using the red channel. Now that we've segmented each structure from its own channel, it's time to consider our results in the context of the whole organ of Corti. All channels and all segmentations are still loaded in the same workspace in Amira. So to learn about how they relate to one another, we simply need to visualize them all at the same time. Thank you for viewing this webcast, and I hope to see you soon at a trade show, conference, or one of our popular Amira trainings, or just visit our website at amira.com.